One fascinating thing about our world today is that we have a choice about the media that we consume. If you clicked on this video and decided to listen to it or watch it, you made a decision that there was something here that you might want to see and perhaps you follow me and you enjoy the content that I put forth and you decide that, oh, I want to see what he's talking about in this video. Well, you have that choice every day and I want you to be deliberate about that because it can be very instrumental in your success when it comes to selling more, when it comes to building your business, when it comes to strengthening business relationships, strengthening your skills. We have the ability to select the input that we decide. And in fact, I would say to you that because there's so much noise, there's so much distraction, there are so many options, you have to get really focused on selecting the input that you know is going to help you get through the phase that you need to get through. I've always been this way. I've always been focused on reading things that will empower me, watching things that will empower me, always looking for great books, great biographies, great quotes, great information. The challenge today is that there's a lot coming at you from every angle. When you open up your phone and you go through your feed on social media, you're going to see a lot of things that you wouldn't uh, desire to go and look at. If you go into a, a retail store, a restaurant, uh, today you will have a screen that's playing and surprisingly they'll be playing news and some of the most negative news you can imagine in their establishment. I always tell my clients in retail, never allow a television to just play in your establishment. Why would you allow that information to change the setting, the atmosphere, the mood in your organization? I used to know someone who would leave their television on so that their dog, dog could watch and you know what they would leave on CNN well this dog was always agitated always uh, hyper always and I always wondered did watching CNN have something to do with that because they were they would see one negative story after another one um, confrontation after another one gotcha news story after another one crime issue after another if you want to be successful in business and you want to be successful, use, uh, successful in any endeavor, use the media that's available to you to program your own content that is going to help you get there. It's a wonderful thing that we have podcasts today, that we have this, uh, these video channels, that we have uh, the blog posts and all these things out there that can inform us and support us and be very valuable to us. So you can, you can program your day so that every day you're getting insight, information, support, motivation, enthusiasm, those things that will make you better. It's a wonderful time for that. Don't allow the world to program you. So here's my recommendation. Listen to something, watch something inspirational. Look at your goals every day. Throughout the day, renew your understanding of what it takes to sell effectively, build a business effectively. Remind yourself of people who have overcome obstacles, if you're dealing with obstacles, so that you will be in that mindset. See and feel the opportunities out there, the large opportunities, how much uh, financial success there is out there, how many possibilities there are for your business. Look at people who have rewritten or, 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 or yeah, rewritten the script in their category. People who have broke through barriers, people who have uh, achieved at, at high levels, people who were at one point struggling and are now among the best in their field. There are a lot of great stories like that that you can pay attention to. And you can listen to positive, uplifting, empowering information all day that will uh, give you the insight, 
the motivation um, and uh, just renew you and so that you can take that next step that's required. I try to do that um, for you. I try to make sure that, that as an entrepreneur, as a sales professional, as someone perhaps who is working in high-end industries, and you need a lot of um, support every day because every day you've got to renew that strength and you've got to focus on um, your, your best capabilities. Uh, there's a lot of information coming at us today and much of that information is focused on what is negative out there, what is bad out there, what is challenging out there. I want you to put together your own media plan. Um, we used to hear a lot about vision boards uh, some years back. Create a vision board for yourself. I, I, before they called it a vision board, I used to keep on my desk a manila uh, envelope, you know, just a, a file folder. And inside of it, I would have photographs of those things that were most important to me. Um, great apartment, um, you know, successful career, great travel, great relationships with, with uh, family and friends. Uh, all those things that were important to me. And I would open that up during the day to remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm working hard, why I'm getting up early, why I'm staying up late, why I'm committing on the weekends because these things are important to me and by committing to this effort I can achieve these things. So I would recommend that. Number one, I'd recommend that you put together something like that, keep it on your desk, keep it in your in your briefcase or your, your backpack, whatever it is you carry, keep it on your phone, go back to it, remind yourself of it. Um, make sure that you have a list of affirmations that are empowering for you, that you value. Make sure you're writing and rewriting your goals. Make sure you have your favorite videos that you have available to you, that you can come back to, that you can bookmark and listen to again and again. Make sure you have audiobooks where you can listen to someone take you through their success journey. And you can understand that and be inspired by it. Uh, when I would go jogging every morning, I would listen to audiobooks. I would read books on the way to work. I would read uh, magazines about successful entrepreneurs, and I would keep myself in the consciousness of success. We can do that today with the enormous array of media that's out there. So don't be passive. If you walk into an environment and you see they have the television on and there's some negative news coming through, don't take the time and study that and pay attention to that. Just keep on walking. If you're in an airport and there's a screen and they're just rotating news over and over again and you really want to be focused on that meeting that you're going to have, on the success, the presentation, whatever you're working on, get a different seat. If if you're pulled into any kind of media or content that doesn't support you in your success, don't watch it. Write it out of your, out of your, your, your world. Um, do not sit home endlessly at night <laughs> watching one negative story after another. Turn it off. Listen to some music that's uplifting and powerful and, and encouraging. Or dig into your work. Use the media resources that are available to you to empower you, to advance you, and to give you that edge that you need to make it every day. And soon, it will become such a part of you to think in this way, to feel in this way, to be committed in this way, that you won't even gravitate to that anymore. I don't, I'm not even interested in some of the things that I hear people talk about, the news stories, the uh, th this series or that series or this that's going on, I'm so focused on what I'm doing and so focused on the contribution that I'm making that's important to me. It's what I've always wanted to do. It's, it's what I've been committed to for a long time. And I'm using this wonderful time in our society with all of these resources available to do it to the best of my ability. And my hope is that it impacts many people positively. It helps them. It spreads the word or the possibility that's out there. And uh, hopefully you find this enlightening and valuable for you. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. 
Let me know that you liked it. Share it with someone in your network. Maybe someone who's listening to things they shouldn't be listening, watching things they shouldn't be watching, and is not taking control and command of the content around them. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more coming, and I look forward to sharing that with you. I'll see you next time.